The Supreme Court of India has ruled that the deliberations of the collegium are not subject to the Right to Information Act and only the final signed resolutions of the collegium are put out in public domain. Dismissing a petition filed by RTI activist Anjali Bharatwaj, the Supreme Court has clarified that the information regarding the collegium meetings cannot be given out and the bench observed that there is no reliance that can be placed on news reports or some reports in the media when it comes to collegium decision. The Supreme Court of India has today sought the Centre's response on a plea by the National Commission for Women seeking a uniform age of marriage for women irrespective of their religion or personal laws. A bench headed by Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachu has issued notice in a petition that is seeking to increase the age of marriage for women under the Muslim personal law to bring it in consonance with the other prevailing laws in India. The NCW has also sought the court's directions to make the age of marriage for women in all communities as 18 years, irrespective of what religion they follow. The Bombay High Court has permitted the National High Speed Rail Corporation to cut around 22,000 mangrove trees in Mumbai and the neighbouring districts of Palkar and Thane for the under-construction Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train project. The High Court has said that the authorities will have to comply with certain terms and conditions that have been set out in the approvals granted by the Ministry, while the NHRCL has informed the court that the number of mangrove trees that had planned to be felled for the project were 50,000 and have since then been reduced to approximately 22,000. The Supreme Court has today dismissed a PIL that was seeking directions to regulate religious processions in the country. The Apex Court said that maintaining law and order was a state subject and on the lawyer's argument that religious processions have been known to cause riots, the CGI said why do we always want to portray that religious festivals are a source of riots. He went on to say let's look at the good that happens in the country because of this. We have a situation like Maharashtra where lakhs of people gather every year for Ganesh Chaturthi peacefully. A Delhi court has framed charges against the DCW chief Swati Malewal and three others in a corruption case alleging that they abused their official position in illegally appointing various acquaintances including people from the Amadi party between August 2015 and August 2016. Special Judge Digvinay Singh has said that strong suspicion arises against all the four accused that there is prima facie sufficient material to frame charges under the Indian Penal Code.